Hey family, welcome to 2023. Today's video is all about vision. Let's get it. Welcome to our channel. And if you are a first time viewer, welcome. And if you like our content, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And if you are already a part of the family, big up. So here we are in 2023. Um, 2022 kind of ended on like a rough patch for us. As you guys know, Kimar and I were both sick um, right around, right after Thanksgiving um, for about three to four weeks. And then around the middle of December, we had a death in the family. Um, one of my cousins passed away and she was really like a sister to me. So um, it was unexpected and it hit us kind of hard. Uh, my mom was like an aunt to her. Her grandma who raised her also raised my mom. And so um, it was kind of tough. It was unexpected, um, you know, and anytime you have a death in the family, it's like it just kind of hits you, you know, and kind of gives you a wake up call, um, you know, as to how precious life is for us. And it's still you know, very unreal that she's no longer here with us. Um, especially, you know, for somebody to just pass unexpectedly and at, you know, a young age. But um, we all know that death is a part of this circle of life. And so, you know, somehow we must go on. And so here we are in 2023. And this video is going to be all about vision. In 2019, before COVID hit, and everything just came to a standstill, I did um, a vision journal party. So back in the day, you know, every year around January, the first of the year, people will have like these vision board parties and people would get together. You cut out like pictures um, of things that you want to do and you put it like on a board and you would have a vision board party. So in 2019, I did a vision journal party where I had these journals and I just kind of like separated um, the journals into sections um, kind of divided up with like career, you know, personal life, finances, different areas. Um, and I had a little party and I invited people over. I gave them these journals. We all kind of went around the room and talked about, you know, what's that one thing that like your heart desires? What's that one thing that your heart desires? So when you talk about like a vision, a vision is something that you you dream about or you see for yourself, right? And you want to see it come to pass. So I'm just going to share a little story that I shared um, at the Vision Journal party. So in 2015, Kimar and I got married. Um, but the year before that, in 2014, I was finishing up my master's degree. And uh, my graduation was on May 2nd at 7 o'clock p.m. at night. So 7 is the number of completion. If you think about um, May being the fifth month of the year and then the second day. So five plus two is seven. And then seven o'clock that night, um, mm -hmm. I had my graduation. Seven is the number of completion. And then eight is the number of like restoration or new beginnings. So 2015, two plus one plus five equals eight. And so in December of 2014, I had written in my journal um, that 20. 15 was going to be like a year of restoration for me. Um, some years before that, you know, I had kind of been like talking to God about some things that I wanted in my life. And a husband was one of those things. And I'll maybe have to share that story mm -hmm. in another video. But um, yeah, so in 2014, in December, I wrote in my journal that 2015 was going to be um, a year of restoration for me. It was going to be you know, a new beginning and that everything was going to come full circle. So that was one of the stories that I shared at my vision journal party. And we kind of went around the room and everybody kind of talked about like that one thing that, you know, your heart's desire that you want to come, that you want to see come to pass. Mm -hmm. Right. So when you talk about vision, um, everybody usually thinks of Habakkuk 2, 2, write the vision, make it plain. Right. So Habakkuk was, um, hearing from God, God had given him a vision and God mm -hmm. told him to write the vision. So write the vision, make it plain so that everybody could see it. Right. And so 
we kind of think of that in terms of like writing things down and planning for what we want. Because we all know that if you fail to plan, then you're planning to fail. So what Kimara and I did, and we hadn't really done this, you know, after COVID hit, like everything just kind of like came to a standstill. I became like very complacent, haven't done any vision boards or anything like that in the past couple of years. And so this year we kind of wanted to like get back on track, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, because with the new year comes new resolutions, new goals, new things that you want for yourself. So this year we did some virtual vision boards and since the man is the head and not the tail, <laughs> I'm going to let Kimar start off with sharing his vision board. So go ahead, baby. The floor is all yours. Thank you for the floor, baby. So <laughs> um, my first thing, my first thing that I want for myself this year that I want to work on is like exercising, you know, careful what me eat and so forth because, you know, I'm again, a little weird over mm. these ears and I really not like it, you know, so. I like it. Ooh, like really. <laughs> so, you know, like, I have to work on that. So, that's how my first thing I want to work on for this year. I want, really want to work on. So, exercise is one. The second one is my mindset, you know. I want to careful work on how I treat peoples you know like because coming from jamaica you know you can stuck in we're stuck in our ways so our mindset you know it be a little rough around the edges sometimes yes yeah, so more i work but really oh the treat people going forward in life not saying i'm mean, not saying i'm not a positive person or, or I don't treat people fairly, you know, or I always treat people, people with respect or, you know, but it's always better yeah. towards life, you know. So I have three things on my list and the last one is I want to become more business oriented. So I want to become more business minded, like not saying I'm not business minded, but um, like I want to learn more about the Paperwork because you know it's two side to business at times, you know, and the business that we do most of the time, like my wife and most of the um finance part, like the paperwork mm -hmm. and so forth, and me that and like the other part because coming from Jamaica, you know, most time the man them just do the part there and the ladies do the, you know, but. I want to learn. I want to learn more about the um the finance, the finance part, that side of business. So that is it for me. Okay. All right. So <laughs> on my vision board, I have four things um that I wanted to focus on. The first one um and probably the most important is like um a whole um health mindset. You know, mm -hmm. so whole health meaning like mind like physical the body um like mentally like being um what's the word i'm looking for like confident secure um stable you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. in the mind like having like um just a healthy mind mm -hmm. all around you know what i mean um, cause sometimes the mind can play tricks on you, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah. So I just want to continue to build, like, I often like self-reflect anyway on like things that I could change about myself or areas that I need to grow in. And so, um, that, I think that's the most important for me is just like whole health. So of course I want to, you know, lose some weight, not necessarily to be like skinny as I told you guys before, but you know, to be healthy. I want my skin to look good. I want my hair, you know, to look good. Hair, nails. Um, you know, I want to be like fit and healthy. <laughs> I saw a meme that said, um, or it was like something that somebody had put on like um, Facebook or something that said, you know, I really want to be like a 5 a.m. gym person. You know, I really want to be, but I'm just not, <laughs> you know, but I can be consistent in doing what I can do in exercising. So whole health. So exercising, 
um, my body and my mind. Um, and then one of the other things is, I think I told you guys before, like I want to do a solo trip this year. Like I've never gone like anywhere by myself. Um, like I've traveled by myself from like point A to point B. But as far as like just taking a trip for myself, by myself, that's just been like something that I have wanted to do like for a long time, just for years. I've wanted to like do a solo trip and really just kind of being afraid to go somewhere by myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, so that's one thing that I want to do is I want to do a solo trip and I haven't really decided um, where I want to go. I have like three places in mind and I'm just going to research and see like what's going to be the most economical for me to do. And then I'm going to go from there. So do a solo trip. Um, I want to push myself to read at least one book per month because I love to read. Um, but sometimes I just get caught up like in social media and scrolling on the phone and just doing things like that. And I just want to be like more purposeful with my time. So, um, I want to commit to reading like one book per month. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, um, a book on like business or anything particular, you know, because I like to read like drama type books or mystery, like James Patterson is one of my favorite <laughs> authors. And so, you know, just reading like one book per month. And then the last thing that um, I had on my list is that I wanted to research um, like real estate. Like I really want to dig deep and learn all about like real estate investing. Because, you know, you see like a lot of stuff um, on social media or if you do searches on Google or online and people don't want to share the information for some reason. <laughs> people just, you know, they don't want to share the information. So it's hard to find. Like, I want to know where are you guys getting the money from to do like investment deals? Because one thing about me is I don't like debt and I know like that's a different kind of debt. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I really want to do like the research the footwork, the leg work to learn about real estate investing so that it's something that, that I and we can move into like in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so then we did a vision board together. So I think as couples, it's important to kind of be like on the same page. So the way we did our couples vision board is Kimar came up with some things that he wanted for us. And then I came up with a list of things that I wanted for us. And we looked at the list and kind of filtered out the ones that were similar or the same. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we came up with the three things that we chose for our couple's vision board. So the first thing on our list is we want to save X amount of dollars. So we're pretty good with saving money. You think we're pretty good with saving money? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're pretty good with saving money, but... Um, I think we waste a lot of money. Not probably shouldn't say waste, but we spend a lot of money. Um, and, you know, there's some excess that we could set aside and probably build our savings more. And so we have that number in mind, but of course, we're not going to share <laughs> that number because you do have some bad mind people out there who think you got money and they're willing to kill you for it. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, we have like um, a certain amount that we want to save um, this year. Oh, the second thing on our list is that we want to get an investment property. So, you know, it's a lot of community coming up in Jamaica, so we want to be diligent on our searching. So, yeah, we would um, like to get an investment property like a home in a nice gated community in, um, yeah. in Jamaica. When we are not there... We could um use it for um here B and B and you know we visit Jamaica a lot so when we there, it would be our home that we mm -hmm. basically stay you know what I mean so yeah nice investment property That's yeah cause, this. yeah because I was just gonna add like you guys know we've been looking for a home in Jamaica for a few years now um and we're just kind of like looking and searching online and. You know, by the time you find a community in Jamaica and they have a model home ready, the homes are already sold out. So a lot of people already have that same idea in mind, you know, just buying up investment properties. And so we really want to be just like diligent about um, searching, even if that means like, you know, getting a realtor or somebody to kind of like assist us in the search. 
um, so that we can be like in the know and the first to know when new properties are coming up and then really just diligent about, you know, saving the money and doing whatever it takes to kind of move forward towards, you know, making that first purchase. Because I've shared with you guys before that I don't like debt, but Kimar and I talked about it and it's like an investment property is like a different kind of debt. So we just really kind of want to be diligent about moving closer to that goal. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we like to travel. So <laughs> you guys know we did a trip to Europe um, back in October. And somebody even said, like, you know, um, most normal couples are just doing normal things. Well, we're, we're a normal couple. Mm -hmm. You know, I was traveling before I met Kimar. And, you know, a lot of Jamaicans, you know, they're so busy hustling that, you know, they don't think that there's so many beautiful places in the world. But Kemar has been a couple of places. And so now he's like, he likes to travel too. Yeah, basically, it's a run down, a run down, run down money. Basically, you just have to just work. Just make sure you set a little aside for the rainy day. Mm -hmm. And take care of your business. Try to achieve something. And really enjoy life. Because, yes. you know, tell you, say, Jamaican, them... We can just work and work and work and most of the time them see that already we work and work and work so hard and invest it and then by the time we buy this big house yeah, and buy all of these big things you know, you pass off, leave it, you know, yes. and it just generate down to Yeah, you old and you don't even really get to enjoy yeah, the you never get labor. to enjoy because you just work so much and yeah. just, you know And I ain't about that life yeah, so <laughs> at work I still find ledger, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, and not saying know? like you shouldn't like build a legacy for your family, but you know, I've taught my daughter like you gotta work for it's what a balance. you want. It's yes. a balance in our life. Yeah, you gotta work for you what gotta find you that want. Balance. So I'm not gonna work, work, work just to leave something for somebody else. I don't get to enjoy the fruits of my labor. So mm -hmm. I like to travel. Kim I likes to travel. And um we want to do at least two trips this year. Mm -hmm. So um, so at least two, because the year is kind of already off to a start. Kimar went to Jamaica um, earlier this year, this month. And then I usually take a trip with one of my friends each year. Um, I want to do a solo trip. We usually go see my dad for his birthday. So we have a couple of things already planned. So I think we can get in at least two good trips this year so we have some ideas of where we want to go not going to really share it just yet because we got to see if it's going to happen um yeah but we're gonna but we know we're gonna do at least two trips this year yeah man. so yeah so um so that's our vision um board mine Kim ours and then we did one together and we want to know what you guys have planned for the year like do you do vision boards do you create like a vision for yourself and work to see those things come to pass um, and what are some things that you have on your list that you want to accomplish this year? You know, whether it be personal, career-wise, finance, whatever it is. Just let us know down in the comment section, you know, mm -hmm. what you guys have going on for this year. What is your vision? Yeah. Yeah, man. What you want to accomplish, as what my wife said. What you want to work, work towards and see it pass, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. What you want to work towards and achieve, you know? Yeah, because it's yeah. definitely important to have a vision, have a plan, and it all starts with a thought. So once you think it, there's life and death in the power of the tongue. So once you think it, then you speak it, you put it out into the universe. God's ears hears it. And so you put in the work and it comes to pass. So let us know in the comments what you guys have planned for this year. Uh, what do you think about our list? Um, do you share some of the things you know that we share on our list that we want? Um, and don't forget to like the video, drop some comments below, share, and subscribe. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out.